Flora, the last time I spoke to you, you talked about you were still trying to find your best form since the Olympic win. I guess today it's fair to say you hit top form and more than some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One year later, I found that form again. Um, yeah, this year has been a really strange first few months with having COVID twice um, and also just managing the fatigue after last year. I really had to be patient with myself. Um, I'm not often the best at and uh, it's not the easiest when you have to race when you're not quite ready but really just trust that as the year went on I would get stronger and stronger and that I could turn up here and have good form um, and be in the contention to, to win. And just, just talking for the race itself obviously and inevitably it was yourself and Georgia <laughs> that battle uh, your, your old rival the run seemed pivotal. That's when you really kicked on and, and sort of put that bit of space between yourself and Georgia. Yes, yeah. Um, I know it was really funny that it was Georgia and I off the front, but honestly, of course, it would be. And that's really special. I think me as I get, you know, more towards the end of my career, um, to have a rivalry like that with her. She's such a talented athlete, and she's a friend of mine that I really enjoy spending time with. That uh, it's cool that we can be out there battling each other, but then we're the first to congratulate one another as we cross the line. Um, but yeah, I knew when we got out there on the bike, there was just kind of one or two I wanted to shake from that group, so I put in a big attack to see what would happen, and uh, that's when George and I got off the front. And then coming onto the run, I just I knew it could go either way, it would be a battle. Um, and luckily I got a bit of a gap early on. But I knew Georgia could come, could come back on me. She has before, uh, especially on a top course like this. So I just, yeah, tried to just stay as focused as I could, really work the downhills, use the energy from the crowd. There was loads of Bermuda flags out there, which was really cool. Um, and yeah, just remember it's only 5K, so just keep pushing. And winning gold medals becoming a real habit for you at these major events. <laughs> do you have one more in you in Paris, do you think? Well, I don't know about that. I'm definitely going to build towards Paris and go there to try my best to defend my uh, Olympic title. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. There's a lot of strong women coming up, but I will just enjoy that experience of being the defending Olympic champion. And uh, that's not something many people get to say. So I'm just going to enjoy that. Obviously, that, that was the pinnacle of your career in, in Olympic gold. Yeah. Um, how does it still rank? Because obviously it was, it was your title to lose, right? So how, how does it still rank winning Commonwealth gold and defending your title and keeping your crown? Yeah, um, of course, yeah, Olympic gold does, does rank everything. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really special to come and win at a major games. Um, yeah, they come around every four years and I think it's also really special to, to know that I'm one of the few you know, on the Bermuda team here that has a legitimate chance to win a medal, to win a gold. So that always like kind of kind of weighs pretty heavy on me and know that it means a lot for me to perform well and to win a medal for Bermuda. So um, yeah, it's really special. I think the fact that there are so many people out there cheering for me. Um, my parents are here, some family, friends. Um, and yeah, I just have a lot more visibility on me now that I am the Olympic champion. So yeah, it's just really special and just try to soak, soak that in. And I guess now I got a bit of fun in a few days' time with the mixed team relay and hopefully yeah. you know, produce something special again. Yeah, who knows? I think it's incredible that we have a mixed team relay team and uh, you know, Tyler and Erica both had really great races and uh, strange things happen in mixed team relays. Um, I'm super excited to just give it my all now that I've seen I've had I have pretty good form, I'm even more excited. So yeah, it's gonna be a really great um, experience to do it with two Tyler and Erica. And, and how nice is it to have your family and friends here? Because obviously in Tokyo you, that wasn't the case. So how nice is it to have you say your family here, seeing you winning medals when they didn't in Tokyo? Yeah, I know. Yeah, one year ago they weren't in Tokyo, so it's uh, nice I could sort of repeat that uh, performance for them here. Um, but yeah, I'm right there in the crowd. I can see my dad in his Go for Go shirt on, um, and yeah, they're, I'm sure they're super excited. Um, and there are so many other Bermudians out there on the course with their flags, and I can hear all. Of each and every one of them and it really um, pushed me on. Brilliant.